Thank you. Uh, I wonder if at this time we could uh, talk about the overall discussion that we've had about the annex and uh, the process that we're moving forward with and how um, the proposal from Ms. Brokar might or might not fit into that. Um, between Representative Conkey and myself, I think we could be, we ought to be able to cover most bases. Representative Merrow and, and Nelson also uh, have been involved in the discussions. We basically uh, agreed that the, the commissioners put out an RFP for the demolition of the uh, two wings of the annex and other pieces within uh, that RFP. Um, they uh, have recommended an approval uh, of uh, Excel construction to move ahead with that uh, contract. And the contract includes removing wings A and B, which I believe are the closest wings of... Uh, uh, good. Um, you have a copy of that contract. Um, so removing wings A and B of uh, the nursing home. Um, there is apparently asbestos flooring uh, there, um, and uh, it will be a significant uh, effort. Um, and putting up, uh, closing the wall, putting up a cross wall, finishing the wall uh, where uh, the opening is created by the demolition of the wings. Um, and there are two other pieces. One was a repair of the uh, roof. When the delegation had talked to um, the commissioners about this project, we talked about replacing the roof entirely. But um, the contractors who came in in response to the RFP looked at the roof and do not believe that it needs to be replaced. Um, they believe that uh, that would be spending too much money in a place where it isn't needed to be spent. Um, that 90% of the roof is uh, in good shape, that uh, there are places where expansion and contraction have caused uh, some leaks which can be repaired and uh, flashings that have been uh, stepped on which uh, can be repaired. Um, so this contract which the commissioners approved um, includes repair but not replacement of the roof. And then the third piece is uh, a renovation to the laundry uh, that exists over there now and that uh, is operational for uh, taking care of residents' uh, personal laundry. Um, so that all is in front of us. Um, the subcommittee um, have extensive conversations and agreed that we should move ahead with the demolition of wings A and B, that we should move ahead with the renovation to the laundry, but that we should not move ahead with the roof repair. The gentleman from Excel, who is not here, but Bob, the uh, maintenance director is here and can clarify, um, indicated that the roof will get by with the roof as it is. And we don't have the, the delegation expects at some point, unless we change our minds, that the core of the annex will be demolished as well. But now that we've got the veterans uh, homeless uh, project still uh, awaiting some determination, uh, we've given them until April to come up with a viable uh, plan, um, it seems that we are not going to move ahead with the demolition of the core. Um, the 5,000 feet. The 5,000 feet, right. And that the commissioners are still exploring the possibility of bringing co-op extension here and may at some point in the future present a plan to us about that. So, it doesn't make sense if we may demolish the uh, part of the core that we fix the roof and spend that money and then demolish it. So, we don't recommend that we do any roof work except um, repair as it relates to the renovation of the laundry, um, which was discussed. So that's all a part of that. Um, the commissioners are discussing uh, bringing in probation, um, which apparently will 
uh, pay for itself uh, or eventually return some rental money to us. Um, and uh, maintenance needs to uh, have storage and workspace uh, for the nursing home uh, in that space. You have a proposed floor plan in front of you, which includes maintenance storage in the kitchen area, which impacts the proposal made by Ms. Brokar. Um, and I think those are all the pieces that are outstanding. Um, just a moment, please. Right with you. Okay. Um, our, this is just a thought process. Our current motion that is, has been approved by the delegation. Uh, did not approve anything else but for anything else but uh, the uh, extension. So, if we are thinking about, we we did suggest in a, in a later motion that the commissioners go out and find other people to uh, rent the space, but it's my understanding that it was without cost to the uh, county. And so if in fact we, the, the subcommittee wants to move ahead with uh, bringing probation in, then we need to have the cost analysis that shows that how long the rent is going to take to amortize the cost that we put into it. Agreed, Representative and McConkey may be able to. Yeah, and I, yeah. you know, and I, uh, that's obviously if we think about the kitchen idea, the same, the same sort of thing would would need to occur, or anyone else. And, uh, and oh, by the way, I'm not opposed to moving probation here by any means. I'm just suggesting that the county should not be putting up money Agreed. for a state requirement. Mm -hmm. Unless there's going to be you know, significant cost savings to the county, which I don't think there will be. <coughs> 